Here is the work outfit. I just took my pie out of the oven. Oh my gosh. It is currently November 1st. You know what that means? I don't want no Christmas. Our friends Natalie and Annika invited us to the very first cast member preview of Fantasmic. We're about to see the tree. <laughs> Just got a sticker from Chippendale. Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Happy Friday. So today I'm going to be starting a week in my life video. This week is going to be jam-packed with work and with other fun things, so I can't wait to take you guys along with me. It is currently 8.30 a.m. I'm going to make some breakfast. I do have work later today, however, it doesn't start until 3.30, so I have the whole morning and most of the afternoon to do some fun and fresh things. made my breakfast. I'm excited to eat it. I put some peanut butter and cinnamon on my waffles. I've gotten like hate before for putting peanut butter on my waffles, but I love peanut butter on waffles. I feel like that's my favorite waffle topping. Comment down below what your favorite waffle topping is. Okay, so I finished breakfast and it is now 9.13 and Donnie and I are about to rope drop Disney Springs for our favorite time of the month. It is the time of the month where we go to Gideon's. If you guys don't know, I have been collecting Gideon's menus for the past year. I've been trying to get the new menu every single month and I started last November. So that means this is the very last month that I need to complete a whole year. We've actually already been to Gideon's three times this month, but that's only because they have four different menus coming out in the month of October. This one was the first one. This one was the second one. This one was the third one. And then today we are going to Gideon's to get the fourth and final menu of October. <laughs> We got our Gideon's. Donnie's over here. <laughs> what did you get? I got the classic cold brew. How would you rate it? I'd give it a 10 out of 10. So here is the final Gideon's menu to complete my 12 months of menu collecting. It's a little skeleton girl with her braids. And honestly, this is what I look like when I work at Bob's. Here's a side by side. The cold brew that I got today was the French toast cold brew, which is actually what I got last month. This is their limited time cold brew, so I decided to get it today. Still a 10 out of 10. And then the last thing I got today was a cookie. So I got the Bride of Frankenstein cookie, which sounds so good. In this cookie, there is white chocolate, golden Oreos, and M&Ms. Already sounds incredible. Honestly, anything with white chocolate, I love. I got a whole bag for one cookie. There it is, down at the bottom. Incredible. It looks quite lackluster but I'm very excited to try this cookie. They also have a Frankenstein cookie which is more chocolate based so instead of golden Oreos it has normal Oreos instead of white chocolate it has milk chocolate. Oh my god that is so good. I love it here. I'm pretty sure I say that every month. I would say a solid 9 out of 10. Our next stop here is going to be Sephora. I just need to pick up some sunscreen. I use the super goop Super matte sunscreen makes my skin look great. Not currently wearing it, so if it doesn't look great, that's why. It's a little bit later and I am now ready for work. I start work at 3.30. Here is the work outfit. My favorite part is the socks. You guys have to see the socks that we have to wear. Look at my socks. I am working at Pirates of the Caribbean tonight until 11.30. Honestly, I don't think I'm ready for this shift. I've gotten used to my like morning shifts and the thought of being in Magic Kingdom until 11.30 tonight kind of makes me sad. Since I'm done with work so late, I probably won't vlog for the rest of the day, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <music> 
morning everybody and happy Saturday. Yesterday my shift ended at 11.30 and honestly I think I was barely conscious by the end of that shift. Like I was just so tired. If you guys know me, I'm literally a grandma. I go to sleep early, I get up decently early and the fact that I was literally at work at 11.30 and didn't get home till midnight, like I, I don't know how I made it. My shift yesterday was actually really cool because I got to work during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party and since it's getting closer to Halloween, Halloween, a lot of families are going all out with their costumes. I saw the craziest Beetlejuice. I saw a Luke Skywalker that looked exactly like Luke Skywalker. There were so many families that were the family Madrigal from Encanto and it was just so fun. I just love the creativity that you get to see on Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Nights. Also, my coordinator was nice enough to let a group of us watch the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Booty You Parade. That's a lot of words. I feel like watching that parade is what got me through my shift. So right now I am about to head to the gym. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing anything between the gym and work, but I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, I finished up at the gym. I made some pancakes for breakfast and now we are going to Target. We got back from Target and I just wanted to do a little haul. There's not much. The first thing I got was some hummus. I got these cookies and this card for my friend Sunny. It's her last day at work today, so she's ending her time in Adventureland merchandise and she's actually transferring into a new role. So she'll still be down here, but I'm gonna miss her at work. And I just wanted to get her a little thing to send her off. And then I have this bag. This bag is filled to the brim with the Witch's Brew Alani News. These are so good. And I had to stock up now because I have no idea when they're gonna take them away. Halloween's on Monday, so they might be gone by then. That's the Target haul. <laughs> It is currently 5.45 a.m. I got home at 11.30 last night, and now I have to leave for work in an hour. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm just so tired. And now I have a 10 hour shift. That's just how it is sometimes. And you know, you just, you just gotta take it. You gotta take it like a champ. I'm home from work. I'm about to make an apple pie and I'm so excited. I have my pie crust here. I just get the frozen ones from Trader Joe's. Here are my apples. So this morning, as you saw, I woke up at 5.30 a.m. for a 10 hour shift at Magic Kingdom. Honestly, I had a great shift today. I truly didn't expect to have a good shift. Like I just thought that I would wanna leave the whole entire time because sometimes you just have days like that. So what I did today was I was stocking. In merchandise, what stockers do is we just make sure that the store that we're working at has enough stock of everything. If we are selling a lot of one thing, we'll go back to the stock room and make sure that it's replenished. I think I loved it so much because I just felt productive the whole time. If I'm standing still for too long like I am when I'm on register, time just goes by so slowly. 10 out of 10 day at work and I'm very excited because tomorrow I actually get to work the same exact 10 hour shift. <laughs> took my pie out of the oven. Oh my gosh. It's still bubbling because I literally just took it out of the oven, but it smells so good and I wanna eat it right now. But I baked it for Halloween, so we're gonna have to save it for tomorrow. It definitely does not feel like tomorrow is Halloween. So now that the pie's done, I'm just going to head to bed because I have to wake up once again at 5.45. Happy Monday and happy Halloween. I look like a little boy right now with my outfit. I drank an energy drink, I ate a waffle. I'm currently listening to a podcast about the minions, like the little yellow ones. I have a 10 hour shift today, so because of that, I don't have any crazy Halloween plans, but I'll see you guys after work. <laughs> Hi 
guys, happy Tuesday! It is currently November 1st. You know what that means? I don't want no Christmas. <laughs> so it's Christmas time, pretty much. We're in our Christmas sweaters. Woo! We're going to Magic Kingdom to see all of the Christmas decorations and we're so excited! <laughs> what's not here. Let me turn this camera around real quick. Tell me what's missing. Where's the tree? There are Christmas decorations up, so we're not incorrect, but I thought they did all of it in one go. Disney's holiday claim to fame was the fact that they turned the park around overnight, and technically they did. All the Halloween decorations are gone, but the tree is not up. We're still here. We're ready for Christmas. We've gotten compliments already on our Christmas sweaters. <laughs> While we're standing here, Donnie, would you like to tell them your new location and role? Well, if it's not obvious, I'm gonna be merch at the confectionery. Ah! <laughs> the wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas And a Happy New Year So it's been a little bit, we've been walking around Magic Kingdom We met up with our friend Jordan yeah. <laughs> we went to see Cinderella and Elena. I'll put the pictures up here. We just walked through the Christmas store. It smells great. It smells like Christmas. And now we're going to watch Festival of Fantasy. Kingdom a while ago and I haven't updated you yet but we are currently ah, we are at Hollywood Studios because just last night our friends Natalie and Annika invited us to the very first cast member preview of Fantasmic so Fantasmic is the nighttime show that used to be here at Hollywood Studios but due to COVID in 2020 it shut down and it hasn't been back since but it's coming back literally today. It opens to the public on Thursday but we're going to see it for the first time. It's a reimagined version of Fantasmic so it's going to be a little bit different but if you guys don't know Fantasmic has been my favorite nighttime show since I could remember and ever since I started my Disney Instagram back in 2020 in my bio it said hashtag bring back Fantasmic and it's back. So here we are, yeah! like this. <laughs> Happy Wednesday everybody. So obviously I went to see the cast member preview of Fantasmic last night and oh 
my gosh. I'm literally not the same person after that. A lot of it stayed the same. A lot of it was the same. A lot of the projections were the same. They did add some newer movies into the projections, but for the most part, very similar show, except for the middle section. So instead of the whole long Pocahontas section, it was split into different reimagined sections. And oh my gosh, like, <laughs> I was out there sobbing and sniffling and my eye like I, just, I couldn't even watch it like my eyes were just welling up with tears and like the energy from the crowd since we were all cast members we were all waiting for this moment together and like the cheers and the energy when Mickey first showed up on the stage was like nothing I've ever felt before it was like a concert but emotional that was like everything I could have asked for from Fantasmic I'm not gonna spoil anything now especially if you guys want to watch it yourself this week is so crazy, but today is another big day. We're going to Epcot, we're going to meet some characters, and it's going to be so much fun. I'm going with a couple friends from work. I think Donnie's also coming, so I'm very excited. So we are currently waiting for the characters that come out in between this alleyway between America and Italy, and we're just so excited. But I'm here with Donnie. And then this is my friend Catherine. Hi. We work together. And yeah. And happy Thursday. Woo! We're seeing the tree today. Today is gonna be a crazy, chaotic, long day because we are currently parked at Hollywood Studios, a mile away from the Skyliner, which is where we're supposed to go. And we're going to somehow park hop to Magic Kingdom, scan in, look at the tree, come back here, and then camp for opening night of Fantasmic. Can you tell who I'm um, Disney bounding as? You're Disney bounding? Show them my outfit. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're going to take the Skyliner over to the Riviera, get some coffee, take a bus to Magic Kingdom, and then we'll go from there. It's the tree! Oh my gosh! Can you see it? There it is! Ah! It's here! wasn't here two days ago. <gasps> Christmas! <laughs> We're about to see the tree. It's gonna be right there. <laughs> last time we came we couldn't see the tree and we got really stressed out here's a picture of us on the ferry we were quite disappointed but it's here Woo! all of Main Street is also decorated all of the music is holiday music for the background and the vibes are immaculate here in Magic Kingdom it is still quite warm to be celebrating Christmas but that's Florida for ya. We just left Magic Kingdom. It's currently noon, and we're taking the bus back over to Hollywood Studios because we know Hollywood Studios is going to most likely reach capacity today, and we want to make sure that we get in so that we can watch Fantasmic. We are currently at Hollywood Studios, and we added a new friend. We have Carrie here. So it's 12.45, we have about an hour until we could go in. I can see some other people camping along with us. We'll be here. <laughs> we made it into Hollywood Studios. It is so decked out for Christmas. It's so much fun. I feel like after Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios definitely decorates the most. 
We went into Starbucks, got our second coffee of the day. So unfortunately, but also fortunately, we aren't able to camp out on Sunset Boulevard for Fantasmic just yet. So we're going to enjoy our day here in the park before and yeah. from Chippendale. So Chippendale came out for their picnic and they had a whole like 20 minute picnic. We were there the whole entire time. Dale rolled right into a bush. And then at the end, we got a little sticker. How fun. Now we are walking down Sunset Boulevard. We're going to go scope out the area. I know we're not allowed to camp just yet, but here we are. Bye. Hey guys, so it's a bit later. We are back home. We obviously ended up watching Fantasmic and then we got some ice cream afterwards and then we made our way home for the night. Once again, Fantasmic was amazing. I stand by the fact that it is my favorite nighttime show and it's so crazy that as a cast member, I get to watch my favorite nighttime show practically whenever I want to. Overall, it was a very long day, but it honestly went by so fast because we were having so much fun. 